In a galaxy far away, in the not-too-distant future, the starship StarQuest J316 is on a mission spreading God's love in the greater Omega Galaxy. Paper has been outdated, and all written communication is now digital. Believers in the galaxy rely entirely on their cyber Bibles and have forgotten the outdated practice of Bible memorization. Yeah. 
are functioning normally, Captain. We are approaching an uncharted world, planet B6241. It appears to be inhabited. This could be a new opportunity to share God's love. Agree. Proceed with our standard communication greeting. On screen. Greetings to, to the inhabitants of planet B6241. We are StarQuest J316 on a mission to spread the good news to the planets in the Omega Galaxy, requesting permission to transport down to the surface. That's strange. The transmission didn't go through. Trying again. Greetings, inhabitants of planet B6241. We are StarQuest J316, requesting permission to transport down to the surface. Captain, I am not reading any electronic signals coming from the surface. This planet does not seem to have interstellar communication capability. All right, let's take this ship in for a surface landing. Zeta, please notify Chief Engineer Stella to prepare our Bible introduction modules and our portable replicators in case these citizens are in need of food and clothing. Yes, Commander. Message sent. Approaching planet B6241. Reducing speed for atmospheric entry. Initiating landing procedures. Captain, the Boogie Brothers and I have encountered something strange in the Intergalactic Bible Database. Strange? What do you mean strange? We just tried to access a Bible verse to share on the planet. The verse, it, it wasn't there. Wasn't there? What do you mean it wasn't there? Wasn't it, it, Boogie? <laughs> it wasn't there. It's the Intergalactic Bible Database, our only scripture source for generations. There's no way it would just not be there. That's how we read the Bible. Perhaps it is malfunctioning. Did you try blowing on it? I do not see how blowing on it will. I'm joking, Captain. Ancient electronics sometimes used to start working if you hit them or blew into them. Fascinating. Well, it looks like I am still able to access our mission verse, but just to be safe, Zeta, will you look into it? Wonderful. I'm sure Zeta will be able to reboot the systems and we will be able to read the scriptures again in no time. Landing is complete. Ready to disembark. Starquest J316. Let's go, crew. Tablets out. As you know, our mission verse is Mark 12, 29 through 31. And what's our mission? To boldly show the love of God to everyone we meet.
getting off their ship without a care in the world. You're pretty diabolical, sir. I'm so excited to start working with you. It's not often you get to be the apprentice of a real villain. Do you think they suspect what you're doing? They have no idea. All we have to do is finish erasing the Bible from the Bible database, first by first, so nobody notices. They'll never even know anything's wrong until long after I've deleted the whole thing. Brilliant. Soon, the intergalactic Bible database will be no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You can't giggle if you're going to be diabolical. Villains don't giggle, for heaven's sake. You need to laugh like this. <laughs> and then you twirl your mustache. Uh, pretty sure twirl my hair? Granted. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me write it down for you. You start with the moo-hoo, wah-ha, real low, and then you get a little louder. Ugh, whoa, work on it. Greetings, visitors. I'm Cameron. Welcome to Harmonia. Thank you. We are the crew from StarQuest J316. A starship? Wow. Does it fly? Starship flies. Wow. Who er, what is that? They're boogie walks, and their species communicate solely through percussion. We rescued them from a meteor shower on planet Rhythmia a few years ago. Their brain translates their thoughts into rhythms, and they tap them out. And you understand them? How? I took a class at StarQuest Academy. Our mission is to share the love of Jesus with everyone in the galaxy. We are Christians too. We're so happy to meet others in the family of God. Excuse me, Captain. I have been attempting to access the Bible, and it does not appear to be just a glitch. Apparently, there are many verses missing from the intergalactic Bible database. Hmm, alert the crew. I'm sorry to cut our visit short, but we need to return to the ship to investigate this situation further. Maybe we can help. You are so kind, but I'm afraid the problem seems to be galaxy-wide. These Bible verses have been completely erased everywhere. I'm afraid it is more serious than we realized, Captain. I have just checked. The entire database has been erased. It no longer exists. No! It can't be! I have Bible verses memorized in my heart. You do? Do you know any verses in Romans? I do. Then let's all go to the ship. We will be grateful for your assistance.
What does this button do? Self-destruct initiated. Counting down. Ten, nine, eight, ah, seven, let me six, just push five, this. Four, three. Self-destruct terminated. Phew, no harm done. We are honored to have you aboard StarQuest J316. You talk funny. I am a droid bot. I was assembled in the year 2065. My incredibly sophisticated internal processors can calculate up to 2,000 petabytes of data per second. Whoa, real robot. Droid bot, and I'm ha 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 Zeta, did you just do an evil villain laugh? Why, I suppose I did. I apologize, Lieutenant. Captain, I've managed to reprogram Romans 12, 1 through 2, back into the intergalactic Bible database. So we've got two verses now. Yay! Only 31,100 <laughs> verses to go. Oh. Well, I'm very impressed you had actually committed this Bible verse to memory. I memorized that one with my family when I was really little. It reminds me that I can worship God by the way I live. And being transformed by the renewing of my mind means that God changes my heart and mind and helps me live for him each day. What a unique idea. Memorizing the Bible. Ancient Earth civilizations used the practice of Bible memorization. It faded away with the advent of the technological age in 2030. Ancient faded away. Use the 2030, 2030, 2030. Thank you. Zeta, are your circuits functioning normally? I think so, Captain. Uh, why don't you let Chief Stella take a look at your data processors? Right away, Captain. Captain, I've confirmed that the inter intergalactic Bible database has been completely erased. I wish I had the comfort of Psalms with me right now. I know lots of psalms. Great. Boogie, will you enter one in for us? They said, yes! <laughs> I love Psalm 103. It reminds us to praise the Lord and also to not forget all the wonderful things he does for us. For as high as heavens are above the earth, so grace, love for those who fear him. So far as removed our sin from us.
intergalactic Bible database is empty. My plan worked. And that red robot is hacking into the system for us without even knowing it. Excellent. I'm sick of that StarQuest J316 traveling around sharing their ugh, cyber Bibles. They came to my home planet Amnesia last year, and everyone loved them. Everybody wanted to know about this God, the one who created the universe. And I told them, don't worry about who's created it, worry about who's running it. But they wouldn't listen. That's when I vowed to remove God from their memories. But what if they find the compromised circuits the robot's data processor? They won't. <laughs> and now that it's gone, I'm the only one with the codes to restore the database. Mm, this is just so much fun. Watch this. The circuits we implanted will make the robot do whatever we want. You're a sweet little bird. Die, 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 die. Oh my goodness, what is happening? You're a sheep. Bah. Zero, what is going on? You're an ancient Earth rock star. Oh my goodness. You're a pastor. Every head bowed, every eye closed. The circuits seem to be overloading. She's giving a nautical call. Zeta, wait! Do you have any other verses memorized? How about John 14, 6? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Got it. Another verse entered. I have one. John 15, 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. I love both of these verses. They remind us that Jesus is the only way. The only way to the Father and the only way to bear fruit. Captain, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a situation with Zeta. You've got that right, Boogie. Something has gone terribly wrong. Why don't we contact Starbase 23 for an engineering consult? We'll see if we can. Oh my! Your robot is so cool! This seems like a great opportunity to learn a Bible verse from Romans.
8, 35 through 39 has been entered back into the Intergalactic Bible Database. Thanks, everyone. Yay! This is such an awesome verse to memorize. We want to remember that nothing can separate us from God's love. Zita, as much as I appreciate the enthusiasm with the song, we are getting you to the repair bay. It's too late. I have to say about the shield. Dolly talk about from my world. So, Who's the Yes, my droid bot friend. Intruder alert, security to the bridge. Never mind that, I've disabled the communication system. Your droid bot was helpful enough to give me access to everything on your ship once I've hacked into a processor. I'm sorry, I'm being rude. Let me introduce myself. I am Deletor of the glorious planet Amnesia. Amnesia? Amnesia, ahem. Now I need to start over. I am Deletor of the glorious planet Amnesia. Sound familiar? Doesn't ring a bell. I have no memory of Amnesia. Did we visit there recently? You most certainly did. I'm surprised you don't remember. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know why you don't remember. No one that visits planet Amnesia remembers anything. But after you left, everyone was talking about Jesus and God's word. And now the people want to follow God and not me. So I vow to remove God from the galaxy. <laughs> Zappy, please, the giggling. So you're the one who erased the Bible database. Yes, I am. And now without the words of God, you will feel hopelessly abandoned and submit to me. <laughs> Oh, I just love to see your shattered expressions. Wait, why aren't you shattered? Why are you not devastated? Why do you not feel hopelessly abandoned by God? Because your plan isn't going to work. The people on this planet haven't been affected by your sinister plan. They memorized the Bible verses long before you started erasing them. Huh, I'm not concerned. They can't know all the Bible verses. Can they? They may not know all of them, but there are others in their family who do. Christ followers all across the galaxy have been studying God's word for generations to learn how to follow him. She's right. And there's power in God's word. But the database, that was the power. No. The power is in God's word. You can erase the database, but you can't erase God's word or its power. And we can show you God's love, even when you're trying to hurt us. Love? Huh. I don't need love. I have power. Everyone needs love. And God's love isn't like anything else. God's love is unconditional. And it doesn't depend on what you do or who you are. Wait, you're saying this God loves even me? God loves even you. God wants us to show love, even when people do hurtful things to us. He will help us love each other with his love and live in peace with one another. Oh, no, you're going to sing? Bless. chosen people holy holy and dearly loved clothe yourselves with compassion kindness humility gentleness and patience
1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy, does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking, is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts. Always hopes, always perseveres. Love never was a nice song. Will someone get some space raid for Delitor and Zappy? They've traveled a long way to be here and must be thirsty. I'm on it. Space raid? Oh, well, thank you. I'm quite parched. As the circuits have been restored, Captain, I was able to successfully reboot her system. Captain, was I powered down? You don't have any more guitar solos for us? Whatever do you mean? Now, on to restoring the database. Lieutenant, put out an alert on all frequencies. We need the family of God to work together to help us remember his word. Gladly, Commander. Captain, I regret that I was the one who unknowingly carried out his plan. It's not your fault, Zeta. We trust that God is always working for our good. Like it says in Romans 8, 28, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him who are called according to his purpose. The captain's right. If this hadn't happened, we wouldn't have learned the outdated art of Bible memorization. I had no idea how important it was to memorize the Bible. I thought it would always be there for us to read. Christians throughout the centuries have been committing God's word to memory, using it to feed their souls and guide their steps every day. Captain, I think you're going to want to hear this. Check your database. It's back, Captain. The entire database has been returned. Delete or I deleted it. Well, I learned that God's word will never pass away. But it's restored on one condition, that you teach me what it means. Because I don't see how God could love even me. Gladly. He loves you just as much as he loves us. And as we learn to walk with him, we realize how great his grace is towards us. Even when we mess up, none of us are perfect. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. I am guilty, ashamed of what I've done, what I've become. These hands are dirty, I dare not lift them up to the Holy One. For sin shall no longer be your master because you're not under the law, but under grace. You pay my cross, you right my wrongs, you break my chains, you overcome, you gave your life to give me life. You say that I am free, how can
to me. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. you have been saved through faith. It is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. This crew has a new mission, to hide the word of God in our hearts permanently. Psalm 119.11, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Dear Lord, please teach us to hide your word in our hearts so that in our star quest, we might continue to grow in you. In Jesus' name.
Thank you so much for giving us your kids for a week. We've had an awesome, awesome time together. I hope you have felt challenged as they remind us the importance of memorizing God's word. Um, this isn't just a musical. We're so proud of the kids, but such a strong message that we really, really, the kids uh, want to share with you. And we just pray that it inspires you to maybe even as a family start memorizing a verse a month together. Um, you, many of you are already doing that. And uh, we just thank you. These kids came to us well prepared and that starts at home. And we thank you so much for all the time uh, that you invest in helping your kids uh, with their talents. It's really amazing. And they're so lucky to have such great support here. Um, as the kids are heading back, they're going to uh, wait for a parent to pick them up in their, at their crew where you've picked them out throughout the week. In the lobby areas, uh, there are little uh, crew stations with a picture of each of the child, children in their crew. You may take that picture off. The, the group picture um, is saved for the crew leaders, but please take those pictures with you today as uh, another memory. We thank you, and will you just bow your heads with me? Dear Lord, we just thank you and praise you for giving us this awesome, awesome gift of not only salvation, but your word that tells us how we can live in times of trouble, in times of joy, in times of sadness, and in times of gladness, Lord. We are confident in your redemption plan, Lord, and we know and we trust your will in our lives and in these kids' lives and how you're going to use their gifts to further your kingdom. Thank you so much for this special, special week and this special night. Let us go forth today, shining Jesus' light into the lives of everyone that we meet so that they want to know more about you. And all God's children said, amen. Thank you all so, so much.